Hey, what's up guys? Back here again with another little video, uh, working on some train units. Uh, we got eight rooftop units up here and a mini split that we put in. Just check out the mini split first, show you how I do my work. Nice, clean, nice and tight. They wanted some spacing in between there. I like them a little bit tighter, um, but that's how they wanted it. So, and they have these new wind baffles. I don't know, they're like printed. I don't really like the look of it, but came out nice, nice and sturdy. Nice little feet, and then we put all these bad boys in. Uh, we don't do the high voltage or the gas. Uh, we do all the control wiring, all the accessories, power exhaust, flue stacks, uh, low voltage. And then we do all the duct work too. So, nice beautiful day out in Castle Rock, Castle Rock, Colorado. Um, these are all pretty high efficiency units, uh, train RTs. So, I'll show you what we got. We have our board, uh, it's the economizer board. This is for the CO2 sensor. So, if any of you guys get confused on this, um, it has a damper minimum position 2 to 10, uh, 2 to 10 VDC damper override. Now, you would think that. The CO2, you would put it to the override to override the damper in case the CO2 level rises. You know, they go to conference rooms and stuff like that. So if there's too many people in the room and it gets uncomfortable, um, it'll kick the fan on, turn on the economizer and bring some fresh air in there to get everyone back comfortable. Um, but just in case anyone gets confused, this is a train. Once again, train economizer board. Um, if you're running the CO2 sensors, we did the Honeywell L series. Um, they go to right here, which is the DCV terminal. On the economizer board uh, up here we have our power exhaust and then this one is for our mixed air sensor so power exhaust is pretty simple um, it's in here it's got a belt driven it's modulating which is pretty crazy um, these these things have all the bells and whistles so you got your belt in here your motor your power exhaust um, in case the pressure in the building gets too high it'll open up that power exhaust and dump some pressure out here so, power exhaust wire. You got your main power wire right here. Move right up. All you gotta do is take the top of the screws off, pop it, run along the top of the chase, and then, bloop, I ran mine to the back up here, and then down. Pretty simple, just slam it on the terminal strips. Um, they're color coded, but blue, excuse me, white goes to blue. Same thing, you have uh, red, black, white in a ground ground goes to ground red goes to your red on your line side so this all goes to your line side um, and then as far as the control for that that would be controlled through here through this board um, and then this wires these are for our co2 so from our co2 it just has a signal just like a common in a power I mean we just ran these two wires over here so I'll show you this this little bit right here this is for our CO2 sensor. So with the CO2, you have to power the CO2 down there. So we have 24 volts coming off of a constant 24. You can pull 24 pretty much wherever you want, transformer or whatever, but this is just the closest location right here. Common, run it to your common block. Uh, any common will do. You can do a common on a relay or whatever you want. Um, but that's the easiest way, 24, common. And then this one goes, these are the two wires that go down to our Economizer board over there. Um, so we have white and, excuse me, red and black, and that goes down to our CO2 down there and hits our um, 2 to 10 volts DC. Um, we use the 2 to 10. There's six wires coming off of our CO2 sensors. Uh, we did not use the normally open contact relay. We use the 2 to 10 because of the economizer board. Uh, thermostat's pretty simple, basic wiring. And then you have your options for doing the train remote sensors, which we have two units here. That's even easier. You just match your numbers up. So you go downstairs, you go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, and then you come up here and you match your exact wires up down here. I mean, those are kind of freaky when you first see them, um, but they're not too bad. You just put them to the terminal. So down there will be like 7. So you run your red to 7, red to 7, you know, black, whatever colors you want. It doesn't matter what color you run. It just matters that you land them on the same thing. Um, what else we got? That's pretty much it for this unit. So that's how you wire up your, your power exhaust, your CO2 sensors. Um, this plug comes up here, so you have to take it and plug it in. Nothing comes plugged into that board, by the way. And then your mixed air sensor. 
people argue, and my, my boss likes to leave them right here. Uh, I prefer them somewhere over here. But that that's where he likes it. So that's where I put it. Still does the job. Um, yeah, and that's it. So now I'm going to check them in heating, cooling, make sure everything's good to go. I got a couple unit heaters I got to fire up too. So rock and roll. Any questions on CO2 sensors, economizer boards, uh, whether train or carrier, I'm pretty well versed in that. I work with them every single day. So troubleshooting wise, just leave a comment. You guys have an awesome, awesome day. Rock and roll. Stay positive. Later.